Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV. Today we got this 06 F-150, lifted up six inches, badass wheels, badass tires, some nice wide ass vision powers. You gotta see this. Let's go. Yeah. Hey guys, like I said, we got this 06 F-150. We got a bunch of our team stance crew. Just take a look over there, Junior. We're up in Wisco and we've got about 30 of our team stance trucks. So we're gonna bring you a whole bunch of spotlights for this one. This is Colton's truck. He's part of team stance, been with us for quite a while. He's basically got a 06 F-150. Like I said, it's got the six inch rough country. If you take a look in there, Junior, he did what we did with CO2 but he used powder coat, we ran paint, but he went through and powder coated some of the key parts of his lift kit, which looks really cool, really sets off with the white and black look that he's got going on. For wheels, he's running the uh, 20 by 12, and remember that's a negative 51 because it's the Vision Prowler. So if we do our build test on this one, this is that brand new wheel that came out. It's already back ordered basically everywhere. I think we heard the next four ships coming across the ocean are already bought and paid for. So good luck getting them. But if you look at that build test, I mean, between the spokes where they put that lip, this prowler's like eight inches. Even if you come out to where the spoke is, on a 12 inch wide, that five inch lip is pretty much unheard of, especially that eight inch lip. So negative 51 offset, Vision absolutely crushed it on price point and definitely on depth in the lip size on this wheel. And then he went with the Aturos, he's done, doing the uh, 35 12 and a half. And if you look at 12 and a half on a 12 wide is basically perfect. It just runs really clean. It's not, you know, stretch. It's not a big bubbly tire. It's pretty much a straight up and down sidewall. And then the tread pattern looks good too. And uh, he's had these for a couple weeks now. He just actually put the whole package together and he loves the ride of them. Um, again, we're still seeing a lot of people proud of the Aturos, especially for the money. And then you can see he went with the pocket style fender flares. These are a rough country flare. So you save a couple bucks off of something like the um, Bushwhackers and they still look really clean, look good on the truck. And you'll see he's doing kind of a, it's a two-tone paint. So he's doing kind of a black and charcoal look with the black and machined wheels. Up in front, he actually built his own. So he's got the LED concepts and then he did his complete own headlight builds. You can see he went with the concepts on all three, uh, highs, lows, and fogs, and then did custom quarters, corners, which turned out really cool almost looks like an etched with the way that he built it out. Aftermarket grill, some aftermarket goodies on there, bull bar 20 inch, he also haloed that himself, and then the 52 inch up on the roof, which again, he haloed himself. So definitely one of those build your own, don't buy it trucks. Um, he's done most of the work himself. Like I said, 52 inch on the roof, a lot of people doing the 50 inch, but the 52 inch also fit just fine. And you can see he did the, the wind reduction, the noise reduction flap, which works like a dream. It takes that whistle out of there, especially if you're going with the straight bars that fit nice and snug on the windshield like his does. Got Magnaflow exhaust on this thing, vent visors. It's just an all around cool, clean, really, uh, really aggressive looking truck. If you look down the side here, I would say he's out past that fender flare even almost an entire lug. So I would say about two, two and a half inches even past that pocket flare. And then in the rear, because it's a rough country lift on these same thing, it pushes the front out more than the rear. So he'll probably add a 1.75 inch bore of spacer to the rear so that he can push that out and be flush. And a lot of times either the 1.75 or the two inch work for that. The two inch you end up, you know, maybe a quarter inch out, but they're the most common spacer. But a lot of guys will run a 175 and then run it perfectly flush. So that front to back, it just tracks straight. So like I said, that's Colton's 06 F-150. Very cool truck, very well put together. Hit us up, let us know, follow us. YouTube.com slash custom offsets. Peace.